an early mana pot. Ghost Wolf uh, being casted and the, the charge helmet to interrupt it. Hydra saving the mana and using uh, his auto attacks in between the global cooldowns, kind of swinging, purging, and auto attacking down the totems. I just love to see it. Full fear coming in out from Hydra after the full purge. Inner focus used early to get it on cooldown. Both trinkets used. Hydra playing aggressive right off the bat. Grounding totem uh, instantly slain there from Hydra. Mind Flay's being cast and then Saga actually the one trying to slow the duel down with the magic dust onto Hydra. Will of Forsaken, I believe, comes out to interrupt that. Major mana plot used early from Hydra to keep the mana nice and healthy for the long duel. And Saga seems to be on the back foot from the start on this one. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, <clears throat> seeing Hydra go in and play aggressive and uh, he, he's staying in range of Saga uh, for, for the whole time to, which is kind of odd because you would think it'd be kind of odd because uh, Saga gets the advantage of his shocks and stuff. But what this does for Hydra is uh, it, it keeps Saga from being able to separate from him. That rocket helm is huge. Yeah. He, was, uh, he was absolutely massive, by the way, <laughs> trying to get a reset here, healing himself up first as opposed to going for the purge spam, which we've seen a lot from a lot of the other shamans the whole time. Uh, absolutely huge, because he doesn't want to, uh, Hydra wants to keep close to him so that if uh, if Saga gets away, he doesn't he doesn't reset or whatever. We talked about earlier with Shadow Priests having trouble with mobility. Shamans do have a fair bit of mobility uh, between Frost Shock and between Ghost Wolf being able to, uh, to separate like that. Hydra's doing a phenomenal job, man, sticking to him. Really, really good. And being able to keep that pressure all oh. the whole time. Going for a big chain lightning combo. That was it. That was the one opportunity yep. for Saga to win. It didn't connect as hard as it wanted to, and Saga falls. Hydra made that look easy, man. Dude, Hydra like <laughs> was on fire, dude. He that was that was textbook. You can't cannibalize, mate. You can't cannibalize. It was okay, boys. It was okay. We made it happen. I think Warrior, like Epic Man, is quite important for Warrior thinking about it. To re engage. Not a big deal. Fifty ish, maybe sixty. He's resisting a lot of uh... Oh my god, he fled. He fled the Matgora. How? Kinda want the mage to get DQ'd so I get the warrior. A coward and you win a Makara, it removes the debuff. I would love that. Anyway, duels underway. Lapon does have that disadvantage. Maybe we could see Lapon win anyway. Hydra getting the nice distance. The net comes out or the sticky glue from Lapon. Fear immediately breaks there with the Zerka Rage. Lapon connecting damage onto Hydra, building up some rage. Shadow Reflector comes through. Doesn't reflect any damage though. Hydra too smart for that. Pops the potion, kiting it out with the Power Bird Shield. Pops the inner focus to conserve mana. Lapon's having trouble connecting here. Maybe uh, just hard time building rage because the warrior is hitting into the shields of Hydra. Intercept comes out. Looks like Hydra just keeps jumping around. There's the hamstring. Hamstring proc on top of that. That's really great for Lapon. Um, Lapon is just getting dangerously low here. Fear comes out. The Shadow Bird Pain's ticking. The Mind Flay is ticking. Hydra must be feeling pretty good about this one. F's in the chat for up Lop so bad that duel. Holy fuck. If this warrior had full stats, I was dead. Apologies, guys. I know that's not what you wanted to see. That was probably one of my most unclean ones so far. For any second, and there it goes. Improved hamstring right away. Arcane Bomb lands. I love the opener. We have the Shadow Reflector pop and the Enrage for the Fear. So the Fear breaks instantly. Hydra just turtling and shielding himself and waiting for the next Fear to give himself a relief from the unrelenting damage of Jay. Mm. Yeah, I think uh, with Jay, a lot of what we see with Warriors uh, is similar with, uh, or sorry, with, with Warriors to Warlocks is a little bit similar to war Warriors with Shadow Priest. Uh, being able to avoid those fears, that Psychic Scream is, is going to be a pretty big deal. But these Blackout procs are brutal, man. The Blackout procs stacking up against Jay, allowing him to get so much, uh, allowing Hydra to get so much distance. Jay closing the gap, getting in there, charging in there, and... <clears throat> being able to stick to him as much as possible. Hydra is just spamming dispels, trying to make sure Jay has as few buffs as possible. He gets his Mind Flay pummeled, Shadow Locked, and he will be able to uh, fear again very, very soon. Uh, very shortly, he will be able to fear again. I think Jay is playing undead despite looking like a human currently. There's the tuber. The, the kick looks like it either missed or actually missed. And then Jay's at 15% life already. Jay's wow, Hydra yes. just Mind Flaying him mind down. Is that going to be spam? it? Mate, the patience on that helm. Holy fuck, bro. That was scary.
Gordon's opening up on the Hydra. Pounce coming out. Goblin Rocket Helmet from Hydra. I'll probably go with the spam and purges here. Make sure Gordon has absolutely zero buffs to help out, you know, his duel here. Hydra after the spam purge. It's going to be a little bit lower mana, but it's definitely worth the trade. A full fear would be likely to come out here in a second. Uh, um, looks like a Mithril Dragonling and Barov's Trinket. So, and, and a Shick and a lot of different pets here from Hydra. Blackout procs. Exactly what Hydra's looking for. Fear Good still one. off of cooldown and a Mind Blast Mind Flake combo connects. Gordon just wow. taking so much damage and the Shadow Reflector isn't going to stop as much as Gordon wanted it to. Wow. Yeah, no, this is exactly what uh, what we mentioned we might see. Uh, it's, it's really just standing toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Uh, a lot of what we saw against the Warrior matchup for the Shadow Priest, where Hydra is just able to, to tee off, man. Oh my gosh, this looks so one-sided. Hydra standing his ground with the Mind Flays, just like he's done to all the Warriors, and Gordon's gonna meet the same oh, fate. Sorry. It's not gonna the be enough. He's went for seven the Shadow Reign. We'll finish oh. him off. Oh. oh, that was a beauty of a resto pot, this fell boys. The blessed run, bro. It's fucking real, man.